legs covered. <laughs> okay, I'd like to call to order the uh, Permanent Building Committee for the Town of Norton on Monday, September 23rd at 6 p.m. We're meeting in the new Senior and Community Center. Um, first thing on the agenda is approval of the minutes that were sent out by the clerk two or three days ago. Are there any additions, deletions? I'll make a motion to approve. I'll second. All those in favor, please raise your hand. All those opposed? Seeing nobody opposed, the tap. Huh? Sustained, no. Okay, and one abstention. Oh, correspondence and mail. I have been criticized for not uh, sharing correspondence. Before I left for Las Vegas, I had a sit-down meeting with uh, Beth and Bob Briscoe concerning the furniture and trying to get a special meeting. Um, I said I would try to do something about it. I called Steve. Um, we discussed it, and the timeline was not favorable because I was going to be gone for a week, and we were going to be meeting a week after that. So it was sort of decided not to have that meeting, and I'm sure a discussion of that will come up later. But that was an email resent to me. Um, I got another email for the additional furniture was $37,000. That'll be discussed later on. Um, that's more furniture. That's more furniture. That's more furniture. I think it's a whole email. Um, I also, I think I discussed this the last meeting, but the town, what does he call himself, accountant, sent me an update of what's left in the funds. And the town manager, who is not here tonight, uh, he might be here. In, he, is, uh, yeah. he is here. He, I think he's at the finance committee meeting or whatever. I got an email with the estate of uh, the Nelsons, wire transfer to the town of Norton, $1.5 million, which went into the, um, to the bank to reduce the bond issue. Uh, I don't believe in uh, emails being communications, but I did get a copy of an email a woman from Reservoir Street, not an email, copy of a, something online on the Friends of Norton, which I don't want to even go into, but um, she was expressing her concerns about no sidewalk from Reservoir Street to the Senior Center and why a traffic study wasn't done. And if somebody wants to correct me, they can, but I think we discussed the traffic study and the fact that there's a restaurant across the street and there was a building and a home here. We felt it wasn't wise to spend $15,000 of the town's money on a traffic study that only 100 people a day would probably be coming in and out of here. So we did not do a traffic study. And as far as the sidewalk goes, I don't think anybody brought it up. But my short answer in my own mind was, when the state redoes 140, they forced us to put a sidewalk in front of our building. I will be still hanging around and make sure I leave a death notice to somebody that they should put in a sidewalk from Reservoir Street for the full length of 140. But you can't, because the reservoir's in the middle. I, I'm not getting into the what's and ifs about it, but I'm just discussing it because it. A, a citizen was concerned. Beth. Yeah, I just want to make people aware that, through you, Jim, that SERPRIT is doing a survey, and I shared it on social media, and I think I actually sent it directly to that person to fill out if she has concerns about the busyness of 140. People should chime into that survey. And I think, like some commuting colleges, this is sort of a commuting building. We weren't thinking about people walking here. I don't think too many people walk to the Chinese restaurant, uh, subway, or whatever. But 
We did, I did bring up the topic. I'm acknowledging receipt. Well, not receipt, but I'm acknowledging my knowledge of her concern. And uh, Beth is sort of taking care of that. Um, I also did the uh, monthly vouchers for people to get paid. Uh, I also have been visiting the both sites while they're moving in, uh, probably like three or four times a week. Um, I went around to the town hall people uh, while they were moving in on, uh, I don't know, Thursday and met with most of the department heads and told them that if they had any concerns to go to Bob Tucker and express those concerns to him because um, he is the Vertex person on site. I told them where the trailer was and I think they're well aware of who to talk to and but I just want to make sure there's some kind of line of communications. I said, telling me doesn't get anything fixed. You have to go to the on-site people and they'll make out the punch list. The uh, Ted, the on-site OPM for O'Connell is going around uh, feverishly trying to do the punch list. I think he's doing fairly well. Um, we will see. That's up to Ed to uh, clear that up. Uh, I did get eight phone calls while I was in <coughs> Las Vegas, and I apologize to anybody that I might have gotten a little short with, but there's not much I could do in Las Vegas to fix their problem in Norton. I referred them to the pe people that are here, um, although some people repeatedly called me about problems that I could not solve. Um, but uh, I think I lost my cool on a couple of them because I was in the middle of a presentation and my phone kept going off <coughs> for people asking what I feel were foolish questions that they referred to people on site. Um, some of those, well, I won't get into the particulars of it. Uh, other than that, I have been visiting the site, the town hall, I visited at noontime today, and they, I keep, and I threw Stephen under the bus, because Stephen put out the two date, the dates that he wished that people could be in the building, and I thought that it should have been written draft all over it, because put, people took that as gospel, and we were nowhere ready for people to move into the two buildings by his timeline. And he had an ulterior motive or purpose for that list was to push the contractors, to push the subcontractors to get the jobs done, which sort of worked, but we've still got punch list work and other stuff to be done in each building. And I do want to make the general public and everybody aware in this building, as far as I'm concerned, the buildings, even though will be used October 1st as the opening date for the senior center. Tomorrow is the opening date from the town hall, which half the department had said they won't be ready for, but they're going to be open anyway. Neither one of the buildings will be 100% complete, probably before January 1st. And I'm basing that on both buildings need sign boards out front, which probably won't be delivered or installed until December. We have grass problems at both buildings, and the snow is going to cover the problem, and you won't know what problem there is until April or May. And that brings up another topic that I'm not going to get into. Um, and there was something else that besides the signs and the grass, I don't know. Oh, well, this building is waiting for a 120 amp circuit breaker, which is temporarily filled with a hundred, a thousand amp circuit breaker. I'm not an electrician, I'm not into town hall. Yeah, whatever, that's town hall. Not here. The what? Not here, town hall. Town hall. Town hall. Town hall. Oh, that's the town hall. Okay, one of them has that problem. Pardon me if I get confused between two buildings. Um, so, plus we're waiting for the, if you look behind me, or in any of the rooms, we're waiting for the AVIT stuff, and we don't know when that's going to be in. So 
I don't want anybody to go thinking that we're 100% complete. We are not 100% complete. And I know nobody listens to me because I keep giving out dates and everybody says, oh no, and then it turns out being that date or I give out information and it turns out being true, but I'm telling you right now, we, and that's discussion with Steve and how much we hold and all that kind of stuff. Um, other than that, uh, I think we're all set. The food pantry is open today. They are serving their, um, I don't know if you call them customers or clients or whatever. There, I saw at least 25, 30 people there. They seem to be working around whatever little problems they have. Um, they have about, I saw like 10 volunteers in there to help direct and do everything, but uh, that seems to be working well, and we'll work out the kinks later. I tell people that this is like getting a new car. You get a new car, and how many times do you go back for warranty work? It is what it is, and People will be in the new buildings by October 1st. So, any questions? Seeing no questions, we can move on to the community center project, which is Steve. I guess I should apologize that we don't have big screen or whatever for the Zoom call because we are in the new building, and as I explained, we don't have IT or AV stuff yet. So it is being recorded. Uh, we have somebody here, so I'm sorry if you felt we're, we're, missed. I'm sharing my screen, so it's on the Zoom call. Okay, whatever. Just if we don't have the screen here, that's all. It's all yours, Steve. Thanks, Jim. So uh, good evening, everyone. So I'll go, I'll go right into the uh, uh, senior center. Uh, progress. A lot of you have the handouts, so, so I'm going by the, by the handouts for those of you in the room. So our progress since our last uh, committee meeting, which was on August 26th, uh, we did get the certificate of occupancy granted by the billing department on the 5th of September. Uh, certificate of substantial completion has been issued by, by Ed. Uh, punch list has been ongoing. Uh, HVAC commissioning is ongoing. Uh, the closeout uh, documentation, which in includes O&Ms, warranties, and as-built drawings, has been ongoing. Seaver is approximately 99% complete through August of 2024 with the entire project. <coughs> the COA mo uh, started their move on the 9th and are now, um, uh, I think all of your uh, renter crates are Return. now returned. Uh, the food pantry moved in last week and was open for business today. And the Mass DOT sidewalk, which was installed by LA, LAL Construction in front of the uh, Senior Center, is complete. We did take some photographs just before the move on the 6th of September. Um, the building was relatively empty. So the first two photos are essentially the, the front entry and, and the main entry to the senior center. Uh, next two photos, uh, the one on the left is the lettering for the, for the building, uh, showing the Nelson Senior and Community Center. And the photo on the right is a photo of the rear patio with the patio furniture uh, installed and, and uh, uh, umbrellas opened up. I did close those after I took that picture to make sure uh, and go away. Uh, next uh, two photos, photo on the left is the uh, director's office. <coughs> photo on the right is the open admin office, all in the administration uh, suite. Next photo on the left is the other side of the open admin office, the, the cabinetry. And the photo on the right is a view from behind the reception desk towards the lobby and the cafe. Next two photos are two views of the cafe. A uh, photo on the left shows the, uh, uh, the gas fireplace on the right. 
and the photo on the left shows the cabinetry and sink in the background. This is all off of the lobby as you come into the building. Uh, next two photos, photo on the uh, left is the activities room showing the two pool tables and the, and the gaming tables on the right. Photo on the right is uh, one view of the multi-purpose room, the chairs and tables set up. <coughs> Next page, uh, photo on the, on the left is the multi-purpose room from a different angle, showing the windows to the exterior, which is the, the patio we had seen earlier. Uh, next photo on the right is the room that we're now sitting in, which I call the classroom, but we're calling it the education room. Correct? Yep. Well, yep. Uh, next two photos are two views of the, the ki kitchen. And the next two photos, on the left is the arts and crafts room, and on the right is the food pantry, as it was being set up at the beginning of September. So uh, the look ahead for, uh, for Seaver on the building is completing the punch list, completing the HVAC commissioning. What does that mean, I'm sorry, HVAC commissioning? That is, we, we, we have a third party commissioning agent that goes through with the HVAC contract to make sure that all the performance of the equipment is, is correct. And that, uh, that uh, third party is Fitzmaier and Tachi. So they've, they've been here, they've been working, and we just, at this point, we got to get their, uh, their final report. But everything, everything went well. And we'll get training at some point, Heather? That's, that's separate. There's, that's there's, separate. there's okay. training that will come from the the contractor, but the commissioning is, is sort of, like I said, it's a, a third party, like a second set of eyes looking at um, the system. Thank you. Uh, they're going to complete the remedi remedial work on the concrete sidewalks, which they were working on today. They're going to manage the weed growth and the reseeding, which they, they did start that on Friday. Uh, they're going to continue with the owner training and complete the closeout documents. So other issues uh, in regard to the senior center, again, the occupancy was granted on the 5th of September. Uh, the wall art was put on hold, and based on our conversation, you've gotten some wall art um, locally that mm -hmm. you're, uh, you're going to be um, putting on the walls. Yep, we're fine. Um, the Nelson tribute in the lobby, the uh, Nelson's attorney did forward some items from the Nelson family. And DBBW was reviewing that um, as far as how that can be laid out in the corner of the lobby. I have a question about that. Go ahead. Um, so the bronze, pl uh, the plaque, memorial plaque, is already on the wall due to the drawings. So the Nelson memorial needs to be like the same size. It's going to go to the right of that. Right. But it'll be the same size and shape. So Close. It's so it doesn't look silly. Thank you. <laughs> yep, the dedication plaque is, is, has been installed. The Mass DOT sidewalk has been installed, as I stated earlier. Uh, moving, uh, COA started their move on the 9th, and the food pantry moved last week. <clears throat> and landscape watering, uh, we did just recently get notice from the water department that watering of lawns must be from a well due to the um, Mass DEP water withdrawal permit prohibiting automatic sprinklers. That was uh, new information as of last week. That sort of came up because of all the, uh, the hoses and the manifold that they had set up in order to water the grass. Um, I don't think my question to you is, do you want me to go to the water department? Because I went to, oh, I think the barbecue for the senior center and Steve Bishop, who sits on the water commission, told me that there's a possibility of getting some kind of construction variance or something to get watering done. And I never followed through on it because I wasn't really worried about it. Um, and I'm 
a little <coughs> concerned that they waited until almost opening to tell us we needed a well uh, when they uh, didn't want me to put in a septic system at the town hall because they said they would have a sewage system running up the street to it and the town hall will be occupied tomorrow and they don't even have shovel in the ground for their septic system so uh, I'm wondering, do you want me to approach them, or do you well, want Mike to approach them, or? Well, since this is a new new topic, we, it, it needs to be further discussion on it. So we'll. I just I'm bringing it up okay. as as a, as is a this new the time topic. For discussion. No, it, it's it'll be it'll be th with the uh, uh, design and construction team. Okay. Initially. If I can give you a little bit of insight on the <clears throat> on how the water department does work, though, I chaired the revitalization of the town common. I also chaired the Gold Star Committee. I had to put in two wells because I could not use sprinkler systems. So uh, that's one thing. There is a ban on, on sprinkler systems in, in Norton. So the only way you can water them is to stand out there with the hose. And you can water them all day long that way. But you can't put them on a sprinkler. As far as the well goes, uh, on my property, my personal property, I pump from the river. I got permission from conservation to do it 100 years ago. And I put a pipe in the river and I'm, I'm pumping out of that. Same way you can pump it out of the reservoir behind you. So I don't think you need to spend about 10 to $12,000 for a well if you can, if you can pump it from the, uh, from the res itself. So. There, was, there was never an intention to put an irrigation system on the site. I think what the issue was is because the landscape is trying to water multiple areas, he put out roughly 10 hoses to sprinklers. Yeah, so that's where this came from. I think, and I talked a little bit about it, is if you are if you have a hose and you're hosing it, like you said, by hand, that's not the issue because it was very specific that it prohibited automatic sprinkler systems, right. which if mm -hmm. you're doing it by hand, that's not automatic. The, the problem is we're trying to get grass established. Once it's established, it shouldn't be as big a problem. But the issue came up, needed to bring it up so that everybody knew that um, there was an issue and that we're, we're, we're dealing with it. Uh, also, other issues, this is a, a follow-up to last meeting where the COA uh, requested additional furniture. We did, uh, we did present it, and uh, there was no decision made at that point. Uh, I brought these slides up again from the, the same ones as of the last meeting with the breakdown of uh, each request by the COA. Um, so I'm going to open it up for discussion now so that if the committee wants to make a decision, then, then if we can uh, take some action on it. So just to give you a history on that, I met with Beth six weeks ago, maybe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and she basically because of the override and lack of some of the funding she needed for additional employees, her opinion is to move stuff around is going to be difficult. She doesn't have the, the person power to do it. So as an alternative, she said, well, what if we were to get you know, some more chairs so she can populate them in other areas so that there'd be less moving around, right? Because yeah. you don't know how many activities are going to happen at any given time. And somebody could show up and use all in one room, and that room just doesn't have enough. So I know we talked about the chairs, and there was some card, chewing, card table kind of thing. Mm -hmm. right? And then I don't remember the credenza, but maybe it's been a while. I, 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 can, I can talk on these issues. Yeah. Can, can I stop everybody? Did you not want to discuss this later, or you want to discuss this now? <coughs> the, the furniture? Yes. No. Oh, OK. Yeah. Yep. So, so you're going to, I guess, go on the rest of them. But. OK. Yeah, so. Um, we were requesting 50 additional chairs, 25 would stay in the fitness room permanently for our chair yoga class. Um, and again, like Brian said, we only have two full-time staff people here, so having them in that room um, ready to go would be great. The other thing that we were looking for are um, some card tables. So we asked for six square card tables. Those would be used for um, Mahjong, which is a really popular program that we already have in place. So for our programming, we would 
We would like those to be on wheels. They would be small. We would keep them. I don't know where we're going to keep them, but they would be used in the fitness room. They'd be rolled in there for people to use. We were going to use the, um, they need a square table with four sides in order to play that game, as well as our card program. Um, currently, we have three tables in there right now. So if we could, if we could get those additional tables, um, that would really help us out with programming. As far as the credenza goes, that would be for, um, I don't know if you noticed when you walked in, there was a really heavy square card table um, with a computer on it right there. That is for scanning into the building. We needed something with um, storage underneath because when we rent out the big room, if we have other people going in there, we're going to need to sort of secure that so it isn't getting touched by people. So those were the things that we needed. So 50 chairs, the carts for the chairs, the credenza, and the tables. Any questions? Yeah, so, Mr. Chair, um, <coughs> So I think the tricky part about all of this is we're trying to decide how much money we need, how much money we have to tear down the old town hall. And, and it, if we didn't have that pending, obviously we'd have plenty of money in the contingency mm -hmm. and I would fully support this additional furniture. But I think maybe that was what your question was, was should we discuss this now or later, Jim? Because maybe we're gonna talk well, about- Well, I think- I think if they're going to use the building October 1st, we should discuss it and finalize it tonight. Well, it depends on if we have the money for this, well, for this amount of money. So that I, I, believe, I believe we have the money. We certainly right. have the money, but... Um, I mean, yeah. you bring up a good point. Yeah, it's point. It's We've already future thought about spending that money, but... I just want to make sure we're not $37,000 short on tearing down the old town hall. <laughs> Maybe we need so, to we so use this at the end of the meeting right. after we discuss the town hall. But isn't this, conting sorry, isn't this contingency money for this building before we spend the leftover money on the town hall? Well, that, that's a good question, but I, I think the intent is that they are, you weren't at the last meeting at the October <coughs> At the October town meeting, we're going to try to bundle what's remaining, if it's enough, and ask the townspeople to vote it all towards tearing down the old town hall portion there and, and securing it. So, so, but it, so, right. so the, the, the tables and the chairs that we're requesting is for programming, programs that we are, not future programs, programs that we're currently running. Um, so if we don't get them, then I would be putting this on the town meeting to vote, to raise the money to, like, uh, you know I what know. I'm saying? Eventually, yeah. it, and the we other thing we talked about, the other thing we talked about, Beth, and it's in the minutes, is if we we could go, after the dust settles and we know we have enough money for the old town hall demo, then we would always go back and purchase this later with the remaining funds if we have remaining funds between the two projects. Right. So the the intent, everybody wants to support this. We just don't want it at the expense of the town hall. Exactly, exactly, because that's got to come down if we have the money, which. Okay. I, just, I just want to add, um, it depends on how it's worded at the fall town meeting, combining those funds. So if that is the case, we're going to come back and use them for the chairs. Well, we got to make sure that article is worded properly. So, well, the article, And that will be on our end. The article yeah. wouldn't be talking about this equipment. It would, it would be talking about yeah. just the... So right, but if, if, we, if we combine those funds at, at, the, at the town meeting, them for the purpose of demoing the building, then I want to make sure it's worded so that any remaining, so that you can still do that if there's funds left over. So it's not just saying, oh, this is just for the demo and that's it. Yeah. And then we have to wait till April to do another. Take it, it away and put it back. It would be a speci specific amount, 1.3 million or whatever it came. It would be a, a direct, and the town manager would yeah. be responsible for it. Now talking, right. I'll get to you. I just want to make sure. Talking that. and Bob. Um, Talking with the town manager today, I discussed the, the article because as I've said from, for the last four months, I'm not getting up in front of the town meeting and looking like a fool. I have to have the numbers because I will not name a specific person in town, but there's more than one that's gonna nail me to the wall and go, well, what are the numbers? And if I don't have the numbers, I'm going to look like a fool, and I'm not getting up there and doing it, okay? Um, and 
And Mike said today he doesn't have the, we don't have the numbers yet. For the demo. For the demo. We don't have the numbers of excess funds on the three projects. And that's what, what we're going for. I, I said I'd recognize you when I'm done. That's what I said we're going for. The wording of the article is going to be we want to take what's left over from the athletic field construction, from the town hall construction, and the senior and communities, what's left over between the contingency fund and what's in the, bo what's in the bonding issue, and use that for the demolition of the town hall. Beth. Um. I was just wondering, is there any way we could vote tonight just on the tables? Because that's a program that I have actively running right now. Um, if not, I'm going to have to go out and buy cheapy plastic tables that are going to run me two or three hundred dollars that I can lift and move um, as opposed to these ones on you. And then if, if we could just get the tables that would meet the immediate need, and then we could, that's just You're Mike. after Bob. Bob. Mike. Well, I'm, I'm going to agree with Kevin. I'm not going to support any additional purchases at this time. My vision of what happens at the town meeting is not all the money comes from the CLA. Money will be left in that account. Whatever they have to, to subsidize the what's left over in the town hall, what's left over from the, from the field of dreams, I call it. <laughs> and the, um, the COA. You know, the one, the one area I would agree on to leave alone would be the COA. Take whatever money we can from the other two and subsidize it with that. Whatever money left is left over at that point, and you need other stuff, I, I'm not going to object to it. But I have to object to it now because I still don't know how much it's going to cost to take down that old town hall. And, once, and we're, not going, we're not going back to town hall and out of town meeting and asking for more money, that would be insane. Yep. So, uh, but that's my spin on it. And as far as the six tables go, I might consider that. Brian. <clears throat> to, to Beth's point, some of these <clears throat> things, again, $5,300 credenza is kind of hard to justify. I don't even know what it is, what it looks like. I mean, the, the tables and chairs, we've already seen the, the pictures. And these tables we're talking about on wheels, how wide are those is things? Is it, They're square. I know that, but how wide are they? The same ones that are in that other room. Yeah. If they don't fit through a door. They fold. They fold, they they fold and then you Yeah, go, okay. there, there is a picture showing. And then the outside benches, if they weren't part of the original program, they, they're kind of also an extra. That, a isn't lot of times you, that isn't something I put on that list. That is something that was on the list. So okay. I, but the, I, I, I think the benches, that's something a lot of times people will donate. Yeah. So I think you take the benches off the top. Right? That's just my opinion. I don't know if anybody agrees. And then the credenza, maybe there's an yeah. alternate version. So if, if we can shave off and get closer to 30, I don't think we approve it, but we can approve it in concept. Meaning, if there's money, we, we could I mean, move forward. If we forward could just it. get the tables, I'd be. Okay, I, but, you know, is there anybody else? Yeah. So I can so speak. along with Bob, I, I, I'm in support <clears> of the, well, you didn't fully commit, Bob, but that, I, I could uh, tend to approve the six tables only because. Of, it's a programming need. You have it going on today, and if we're forty-seven hundred dollars, <laughs> we can always take it. Ask the town to take it out it's of like total capital somewhere. reserve or some other yeah. fund, right? If it's that tight, uh, I would imagine it would be so. And then revisit the yeah. step. Yeah. That's not the total, guys. Um, yeah. You need to add a portion of the freight installation right. to that. It's Correct. not the entire number that's down below, but Correct. it would Correct. be a portion of it. Yeah, it'd be four or five hundred dollars or something. Okay, my take on it is. I'm not really, I understand the needs of certain articles, but I don't see the credenza I, where, the <clears throat> where the tables are going for $700 a piece plus installation and assembly. Why don't we get seven tables and use one of those tables? As far as storage goes, if you're going to disconnect it, you have plenty of closet space in the calf area, and I'm sure you could put it in your office or someplace else. It doesn't have to be in a $7,000 contender. That, that's all I'm saying. I would add one table for the $700 and, you know, whatever it is, and then we save $6,000 on a credenza that 
I mean, right now it's out, and I know you're not using the building or whatever, but yeah. it seems very happy on a card table. Go ahead, Bob. I spent about two hours in the old town hall and three hours in the new town hall helping out today. And I recommend that you go in the old town hall because there's a lot of stuff yep. left in there in your credenza. I know what you're talking about, but it may be something compatible yep. that we can help you move over here, you know, to make it happen. Um, but again, you know, the benches and the Well, the benches, the benches were out there so that if people are waiting for the Gatra bus, I know there's tables and chairs out there, but the outside benches were pe people waiting for rides or whatever, because they're the elderly, they were, they were originally put there, and for whatever reason, in the original order, they weren't ordered. And if the architect wants to speak more on it, I would let him. But he doesn't You got it, it right. <laughs> Again, if, it's a, if it was a part of the contract originally and was overlooked, it should be purchased for the point we're talking about. We're not adding extra ones, we're just missing the ones that somehow got lost in the shuffle. But they're added on here as an extra expense to best request. Correct. I agree. That's what I was saying to Bob's point. If we need the tables and we need those benches for, for you know, that, what is that, $10,000 whatever it is? Okay, any more discussion? We should get yeah. So I'd like to ask. Uh, <coughs> hold on, Steve. I just wanted to go, go back to something that you said earlier at the beginning of this conversation where you were saying that you're going to not go in front of town meeting uh, unless you have numbers. But my, my understanding uh, originally in our discussions was going to town meeting was to ask the town to combine any excess funds for demolition of the town hall. Not, not any particular numbers, but just taking and combining the appropriations or the, the allocations, appropriations to be able to be used one because I'm a good friend of this person, so I'm going to mention his name. But Ralph Stefanelli and everybody <laughs> in this room knows him. Will be the first one to get up and go. What are in each one of those funds? And if I don't have the answer, that's going to be lead to the failure of the motion. This town is interested in dollars and cents, not a cloud. And I can't present three clouds to, and to solve another cloud problem that we've been given a 1.2 something answer to destroy the old town, old, old town hall. But whatever, go ahead. And if, it, if it's worded that way, which I thought it was going to be worded that way, that's why I would say you, we couldn't come back and buy those chairs afterwards because it would be all for the demo. It should be worded, in my opinion, for the the demolition and any outstanding no. discretionary purchases uh, required for the program. Well, you're yeah. defeating the purpose of the mo The motion the is across the board. to go back to the original idea of this was to demolish the town hall. Correct. That's all what we were discussing was demolish, not incidental. They want uh, something in the town hall. They want something in the community center. No. All the money, because I, I'm not a contractor, and I've said this a million times, but I don't think it can be done for 1.2, and they're going to go over budget. Well, and we, we're going to use all that money that's extra, whatever it is that we don't have a number of, to demolish the town hall. Mr. Cherry, yeah. so yes, before we go into the town, meeting we need to know what it's going to cost to do the complete project demo and right and, and we and I thought we had a number and I think the group decided to add um, a 20% contingency instead of 10 just for that extra protection in case we over budget so I think we don't has it changed I know the timeline has been pushed out well it's, we a, it's a future slide and there, there are some changes but the thing that that is not certain is is what funds are we going to have left over because our projects aren't done yet so that, that, that's the moving that's the moving number, is what funds are going to be left over to try and, and cover it. And we're not going to know that until we have the phase two of, of town hall yeah, is complete. Yeah. Hmm? So the, again, just to restate that, so the cost of the project will be we'll have an estimate on that. We'll have a number for that. We, but we, the revenue, we're not quite sure how much is going to be left over. Right. Okay. <clears throat> 
Because we're not done with construction yet on, on certainly on phase two of, of the town hall. It hasn't even started yet. Yeah. And there was still sort of um, like the kitchen supplies. We had a, a budget yeah. that we haven't even started. I mean, I, I <coughs> met with the chef and we got estimates of, of the equipment that we need. Um, but that's still in the budget that I don't want to go Correct. away. Correct? Yes. Thank you. I think so neither project is, is, is done yet. So There's going to be things that come up in town hall, too. I already have heard that are going to be asked. So, you know, you, you I really have to think of, are you going to finish two projects that you've started so that they're usable for everybody and then see what's left over to take the old town hall down? And it, it may be fine, but... That's not an answer we have today, or we probably won't have a month from now either. So and October's coming up, so that's what I'm saying. You you be careful of what you at, what you try and give for information at, at the town meeting. But isn't the whole point? And we can discuss this further offline, of course. But right now we can't even spend it because we. Oh, I. We're trying no. to combine it so we can spend it if we need it. Being somebody who has gone to almost every town meeting and some of the people in this room do have, and some have it, and don't know what the atmosphere of town meeting is, you don't have the numbers, you're not going to get it passed. So if he's saying we're not going to get the numbers, then we're not going to, so why bring it up? But you, because you, you already have the money. Because you're not asking for any more money. The dem demolition is up. So I don't think we could discuss this till 10 o'clock. The know? thing is, but here's the point. The point is this. In the town meeting, we have to have a ballpark number of what it's going to cost. What we have available, what it's going to cost. What we do with whatever else is available, that's a different story. But if you go to town meeting and you say, we're going to take all the money we have left over from the three projects, we're going to put it in one kitty, the first person is going to stand up and say, so you're telling the people how much you're willing to spend. You've got to have an estimate, a, a ballpark estimate, with a contingency. So you can say, it's going to cost us a million three plus 20%. Yeah. We have it. We have it. We have it. That's what we're looking for. That's all we're going to be looking for. And if there's extra money left over in COA, a community building account, the other two will be depleted. I, I think we can make that assumption. But I think the COA is probably one with one well, a few bucks. I think we have, to word, we have to word the article properly, right. and that'll be a, make sure we deal with town council and we word it properly. And if Mike's it's still on the, October on the 21st, which is less than 30 days from now. Yeah. So uh, I think what you want to avoid is say it's all for demos. Well, let's say you get one five left, yep. and the demos one three. Then they're going to say, well, where's the other 200,000? Exactly. Why did you spend it? We well, need permission to spend it well, well, on whatever I, we need to. I also have a problem with how many outstanding, we went $100,000 over in our furniture request, we're getting another $37,000 request, we're getting a X number request for finishing the kitchen that we don't have a number for as of right now, we may have it in 10 minutes, but we don't have it right now. We have the funds earmarked. You know, I, yeah. I just, allowance. I don't yeah, know how many mean. other things are going to, we have stuff at the town hall that's going to come up. So this, when we added all these numbers up, we had one point, I don't know how much. This is slowly going down to not covering the cost. I honestly think it's just how you word the article. And I'll work with Mike and the town council on that. Fine. I, I mean, I think that'll solve the problem. Because then, then you'll have some so for this building and for the town hall. The actual that's thing that's on the table that's not a motion I need a motion for somebody to either add the additional cost, add a fraction of the additional cost, or something to do, let's finish the furniture problem. Can, can we wait on the furniture until we talk about town hall and the cost? Because we have some numbers here. We should talk oh, about Okay, them. fine. I think we need to, yeah, consider it's, all it's, together. Yeah, it's an open meeting. Chair. We can go back. But I'm not leaving this meeting until we decide what we're going to do. Fine. That's a pending thing that has to be done tonight if she wants to open the building. Um, I will tell you the Friday meeting I had with Bob Briscoe and Beth, I suggested that the Friends of the Senior Center pay for whatever she needs because 
We're letting them use the naming of the rooms as a fundraiser. We saved them $160,000 by the building committee paying for the commercial kitchen and the bricks, even though they're not using the bricks. So I'm just saying that there is another funding source out there that can be used, but we'll move on. Go ahead. What? Yes. One more thing. Does anyone know what's left in the athletic field? That was the question. If my oh, seventy-five thousand. How much? Seventy-five thousand. That's it. Yeah. How much? Seventy-five thousand dollars. Seventy-five thousand. That's what yeah. was left. Oh, that's what uh, was left. But there could have been some spent down. Uh, yeah, because we brought it up. Because the figure I got was more like eighty-five thousand two months ago. So yeah, seventy-five or less. Don't forget. We have, also we have opened projects. the door. Oh, yeah. So uh, don't forget. Yeah, order we, of magnitude. Just curious. But don't That's forget. What I was ask you. We had no oversight on that. We did not get to decide what they spent <coughs> their money on. There could have been more savings. We don't know because none of us were involved. That was all the school. Yep. Oh, just and it's question. dead and gone, and I'm not going through that argument. No, no, just, just, okay. just so people understand, two out of these projects kind of, will we, we well, be managed. Kind of if you knew the politics yeah. of getting the school yeah. department yeah. on, yeah, well, show let's up. not go there. Stephen, uh, no, any other questions on the furniture, I guess? Not yet. Stephen, let's move on. Continue. Yep. You know we don't have a clock. We'll be here till 10. So just um, there's really been no no change on the uh, senior center change orders. Uh, we're still working through some straggling stuff with uh, with Seaver, um, and uh, you, we've got uh, the the final bill for the DOT sidewalk. We did have a an estimate, um, but we haven't got the invoice yet. I don't think we have. Uh, I haven't seen it. Just to confirm that that 60, but all of that is is part of of this um, this project. So our const our construction contingency remaining hasn't really changed, and neither has the soft cost contingency. So that sort of works into the the discussion about funds that are that are left over. Um, moving on to the uh, Norton Town Hall. So uh, again, progress since our last meeting. Uh, they've uh, had the cleaners in for the building. They've been doing finishes throughout uh, fire protection, plumbing, HVAC, electrical, and technology. They've been doing their testing and inspections. Uh, they started the HVAC commissioning. They did the parking lot striping, and they started the landscaping. Um, Ed went through and did the punch list. Uh, issued the punch list and they've been working on the punch list items. Uh, Emil Connor is about 92.5% complete through the uh, August uh, requisition number 15. Um, also, uh, a, a separate from Emil Connor, we had furniture delivery and assembly occurred from the 9th through the 20th. This is quite a lot of furniture going into that building. Uh, the moving from uh, Old Town Hall. Uh, was on the 18th, and that got completed in uh, in a single day. As far as their uh, their moving boxes, and IT was moving uh, equipment from Old Town Hall on the 20th and the 21st. So currently, they are anticipating being open for the public as of tomorrow. Uh, Mike said Wednesday. Mike said Wednesday. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Is that in the chat? It was in the chat. So let's say that Laura, the town hall, will probably be opening Wednesday. So it looks like latest information is Wednesday the 25th. <clears throat> town hall will be open to the public. Staff is in it now, finishing up moves, I guess. Elevator inspector is committed till tomorrow. Right, that with uh, Emma Connors had an elevator operator in the cab to operate the elevator. Can I just ask we, we just got an email about an hour ago or two hours ago saying they're going to need one more day. Yeah. Okay. So, Town Hall okay. probably won't be open Wednesday, I'd say Thursday. Thursday is a half day, so. Yeah. Oh, Thursday is a full day. Friday. Thursday is a long day. <laughs> <laughs> Well, they were supposed to open tomorrow, so the one more day may be Wednesday. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go with that, but let's go with that by now. Don't hold your breath. You gotta be positive, Jim. Sure. So photo documentation for uh, town hall. Um, photo on the left is uh, the view of the, the town hall on the 17th. As you can see some of the, uh, the trees have been planted. Uh, photo on the right is the dedication plaque that's located in the lobby. Everything is spelled correctly. Uh, next uh, photo on the left was is one of the display, the display case in the uh, in the lobby. And the photo on the right is the select board meeting room card are heading from the select board meeting room towards the lobby. Uh, next two photos are the select board meeting room. Uh, the cabinets that are staged in the middle there are, are just there temporarily as they were being moved into rooms. But as you can see, the, uh, the desk, the DS is there with the seats and the microphones and uh, the uh, town seal is on the wall. Next photo is uh, just the assessor's office uh, and the planning office on the right in the stages of getting the furniture installed. Next photo is the treasurer's office, two views of the treasurer's office again during the, the furniture installation and assembly. So schedule a look ahead for town hall. Continue the landscaping, uh, uh, continue on with the punch list on the new town hall, uh, the owner training on the building systems, uh, close out documents, O&Ms, warranties, and as built for the new building. And then starting the phase two abatement and demo of the food pantry, and then moving on to this, the phase two site work, which is going to be coordinated with the fire department, who we just uh, talked to last Tuesday at the meeting initially. But there's fair amount of work on uh, their end of the uh, of the site with the, with the parking lot, which we're just going to make sure that we do not um, impact them from operation and responding to calls. Other issues for the town hall. Um, the existing town hall demolition uh, the proposed press was, was issued. Uh, M. O'Connor submitted a revised uh, PCO for a little over 1.3 million because they were they were missing a couple things, and they did give credit back for for um, I, want, I don't want to say not uh, demo, demolishing the food pantry, but not demolishing the food pantry separately, and the roofing that goes with it. But we want them to continue on with their base contract phase two work because if for some reason the town meeting doesn't happen the way we want it, we don't want to be have, having held that project project up because of uh, of that weight. So I'm adding back into the overall uh, amount of the, the 36000 that they had credited back. And, and you'll see that on, on a couple slides from now. Um, Steve, yes. does the 1.3 include the credit or not? The 1.31 included the credit, okay. so I'm, that, that's why I'm, I'm Putting it back in. Plus 36. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, where's the 20%? So, um, <coughs> M. O'Connor had submitted a request for a no cost time extension of nine weeks. We did respond to that, and that um, time extension has been denied. Uh, we anticipated the time that I wrote this up and had it printed that we'd have. Uh, a temporary certificate of occupancy uh, today. Um, it sounds like it, it's not going to be until tomorrow. Uh, and uh, just for counting, um, the original contractual substantial completion date was July 3rd, so they're roughly 82, 83 days late on delivering the building. As far as moving goes, uh, the move started on the 18th and continued through the 21st with IT, and the town hall was closed from the 10th to the 23rd. It's now the 24th, with being open to the public on the 25th. Um, the architect, DBBW, has submitted an uh, amendment for additional construction and administration. 
uh, totaling $17,425 uh, that we would like to get approval on. That bridges the gap between when uh, M. O'Connor was supposed to be substantially complete and when they are, which is going to be at this point tomorrow. Correct? I have a question, Mr. Chairman. The, uh, so I'm clear on the 82 or 83 days, whatever it might be. Um, uh, if there was it a penalty of some sort in there, if they weren't done in time, or how did that work? There is liquidated damages that are part of the contract, and that's that's a, a discussion we're having with the town uh, town manager to see which direction that we want to go. That occurs for, on both contracts, so there is there is a way to recover an amendment like this. So some of the seventeen thousand four twenty five for you guys will be hopefully some would, of that will be recovered. Would go away, but in order to to allow, because the contractual relationship between the town and DBBW, you'd have to approve that amendment to them, and then that would be credited back out of the contractor. So your your counting would, would work, but uh, we still would have to uh, and approve the amendment so that they can bill for it. And it should be a wash. Or it should be more than a wash. Yeah, yeah, correct. And I, I also, just on top of that, MOCC is also the one looking and knocking down the old building. Correct. And so, you know, that could be applied toward that. We have a number from them, so they could apply that for toward that part to, to reduce that a bit, the town meeting. We could, but we don't, we weren't necessarily looking at that because nothing has been okay. solidified. I always want to look at the worst case. Got it. Need approval from the bank? And, and a copy of the, um, the amendment is in the package on the last page. What now? We need an approval of the committee for seventeen thousand four twenty. Well, we gave them that last meeting. Yeah. 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 Okay. Who wants to make the motion? I'll second. You second the motion. I didn't hear. I'll make the motion. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Mark made it. Mark made it. Okay. Any further discussion <coughs> on the motion? All those in favor, please raise your hand. All those opposed, that passes. Okay. And, and the last item uh, regarding furniture, there, there are some issues that have arisen with the furniture now that it's been assembled and laid out. And that's, that's just new as of the end of last week, so that's being reviewed by the, by the town and um, PBDW. What's the issue? It don't fit? It, well, I know one of them. Uh, Cubicle walls too high. Uh, the one, one of them. Where uh, Jen, our, our secretary, sits, is, it, it's like this high. <laughs> so she sits behind it. You can't even see her when you're walking around. But she could see me today. It's like four and a half feet high. I'm it's not going there. Well, it's one thing. Well, they moved into a building 25 years ago that wasn't, cubicles weren't in. So they had open seating with just desks. And I also believe the town, assistant town manager wants a bigger desk. Yeah, we were there. We're because there, we're there. Uh, she's got one of those stand-up desks that takes two rooms and a half to have, but whatever. But that's up to DBW to work out. Yeah, we hadn't heard that one yet. Oh, it's coming. <laughs> it's coming. And at the same time, we have an old town hall that we have to keep in mind is full of furnishings. Okay. That is up to the select board yeah, and the town it. manager to dispose of at an auction. And I understand that, but I'm bringing, when I'm bringing it up, the, the fact is that they shouldn't come back to us. No. To ask for anything, because there's a lot of stuff still left behind that could be utilized. But right. the theme from the architect from day one was, you know, that's why when you said something about getting a condenser, I sort of cringed in my chair, and I'm sure Ed did, the theme was we're moving into a new building, you're getting new furniture. Do not bring any furniture with you. Bring paperwork and <coughs> files, and that's all you should bring. As long as Some I people have brought When I moved into my new house, I brought everything I owned with me right. and then bought new stuff later on. Right. Point of the matter is, I don't care if it's a new building or not, the taxpayer shouldn't have to pay for shouldn't have to auction off all the all the stuff we have 
and then turn around next year and say, hey, I need this, this, and this. The other, if you need it, you get it now. The other theme Jim Slattery had was once you own the building, you can do whatever you goddamn want to do with the building. Mr. Right. Chair, so, so before, as we talked about this, before we have the, this is really you, Steve, and the rest of the, before you have an auction, just offer it to the other municipal buildings as well as yeah. the school departments. Just have them all come in and, you know, see what they need. We did the same thing with the high school where we, yeah. we kind of dispersed it around the other schools. And then we had an auction where people from other communities came in, but no one had the first. Yeah, yeah. Again, yeah. that's well, there is not a our problem. That's yeah. the town manager and the right. selectman's problem. Right. So ju just to hit on, what did, what did the senior center do with the chairs that were there? They're still there. Yeah. We're still, we're still are doing you, you, We're still using or? that building right now. Okay. We did not bring those chairs here. Okay. They're too heavy. Not that they didn't want to. They brought the table, some Because they were in pretty good shape, so that's why I was, I was saying whether you auction them off or, or mm -hmm. bring them here, I think that's might be a solution. They don't match. I know they don't match, but it's like you could function with them. Okay. Anything okay. else, Stephen? Can, can we go over this yes. overall budget? Can we skip it? Okay, no, no, ask Stephen the question. No, no. Just running some I'm numbers done in my yet. head here. No, so we can get to it. Oh, wait. I'm going to try to miss it. So uh, the next, um, just going over the town hall change orders, we've issued eight change orders to date. Uh, that, hasn't, that hasn't changed since the last time. We had potential change orders. I was at 179,000 as of last month. I've reduced that to 106,500 based on what looks like we have uh, pending and then uh, having uh, sort of a placeholder for anything that we may uh, run into on phase two. That leaves us with a construction contingency of 562-516. So, I know the, the, the slide you've all been waiting for. Uh, the budget overall status versus the old town hall demo. So, the budget for um, the, the town hall, the construction contingency that's left is 562.515, which I just went over. Uh, the soft cost contingency is, is zero at this point. It was zero at the last meeting. And we have, uh, we have bid savings of 483.145 left. So our total contingencies and bid savings that's remaining is 1,045,660. Now the town hall demo, um, we went back over uh, the fees and, and the construction estimate, like I said, the, 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 um, the price that came in from M. O'Connor was missing a couple things. They adjusted that and I put back in the $36,000 to do the work that's in the base contract. So the architect's fees is one fifty one one hundred. OPM fees, this is all based on a five month duration, it's 175. We increased the contingency to 20%. That was a discussion we had here. Then the, then the construction cost from M. O'Connor. So we've got a, a, a total for the demo of 1.94. That includes uh, the construction and the soft, soft costs and, and a contingency. So given that, um, <coughs> the remaining, or the, the shortfall on the town hall funds, the town hall appropriation, is just under nine hundred thousand dollars. I don't know, Brian, if that answered what your questions may have been. Well, but yes and no. So I think I'm doing some math in my head here. So senior center has a plus of seven ninety two, town yep. hall has a minus of eight ninety eight. Yep. Okay. So if you add that and you add the extra seventy five from the soccer fields, right? We're at a minus thirty one. That's if everything here was paid for. We're only thirty-one thousand over budget, right? I just did the math for you. Yeah, yeah. twenty-nine thousand. Now, now, with that increase. said, we we had issues we had to pay for along this journey moving on. We also got one point five million donated that we never anticipated. Mm -hmm. So to do all this and only be thirty thousand in the hole is a goddamn success in this business. I don't care what anybody in the town says. So I know they took the one point five and slammed right in the bank. And that was. Knee-jerk reaction, in my opinion, until we had all this. 
because we borrowed whatever we were going to borrow, 30, 30 million, whatever the number was, never included the 1.5. So if we have to go back and ask for 31, we're going to look stupid. But that 1.5 was prematurely uh, so what, know, used. Yeah. Through, through the chair, if I may. Because we're not spending more than what we asked to spend, which was $30 million. He's got the floor. That's the my point. point. The, the reason for the wording on the article is very important is that there are other projects with certain amounts out there. There could be 5000 could be 8000 could be $500. That I believe is going to make up the difference, and then some uh, on this. So that's why, uh, Kevin, you were right. You know, we we don't want to do that until we know exactly what's in there. And to Jim, Jim's point, we we need to know those numbers because if it's going to if we're still going to be nine thousand dollars short, then what's the reason of passing the article? It's not going to work. So um, if Mike is on there, he can probably tell more. But I don't know. He's, he's at FinCom too. <coughs> he's got it. Okay. Mr. Chair, a couple of questions on hold up. Okay. Beth was before you. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I, my, my question was we were expecting like 50000 back from the generator rebate that Rayford put in that grant. Is that something that was. Yeah. In December? In December, yep. I don't know if we've got there. He, Ray said last meeting that it was approved. So I, I heard, I heard that it was approved. He said it was approved last I, I heard that, but uh, we haven't. The, the mic's not in hand. That, that could be your. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I'm, that's correct, but I, I don't, until we have it, it doesn't I don't put it in the budget because okay. it's, it's, it's almost Kevin, a false hope. Yes. Um, so two questions. The, the two placeholders for the change orders, the one was 6 five. Can, can you explain what, if that's earmarked for anything or if there's just a continuously <coughs> Continuously, what's the placeholder mean? Well, that, that, that's, I was going to sort of expand on that a little bit. If the, the 6,500 is, is pending PCOs in, in sort of round numbers, the $100,000 is for unknowns that we may encounter when we do phase two. If we don't, let, let's, let's just use an easy example. We hit boulders in phase one. That, that had, to, had to be removed. We're doing more surface type work, but we don't know what we're going to hit if we start taking um, pavement up. We have, to, if we have to relocate something that is an unknown, I need to hold money for that. That's a potential change order. That doesn't get spent. That hundred thousand dollars is part of it. The excess and, funds. And I'm going to tell you, talking with Ray Cord and going under. There is more underground wires like the hidden septic tanks <laughs> and the boulders running from the f police station and fire station over to God knows where. Some run down to the highway department. I'm sure there's some buried wires under the old town hall. Plus we have the antenna on the roof that we were first told nobody's using, but now we're being told somebody's using. And one of the anchors is on the old town hall. So, like Stephen says, I think we're a quagmire because we seem to have very a lot of redundant issues. Our dispatch is done from Foxborough, but there are lines running all over the place from our old dispatch center in the fire department to the new dispatch center in the police department to God knows where until somebody digs it up. So, so Mike, can I just put, so when you say phase two, Steve, are you referring to the demo project? The no, site where it hit the town hall. Phase two of the phase yeah. contract work, yes. Okay. Yeah, phase, phase, which is only, it's demo of the food pantry. Yeah, phase two was only demo of the food and, pantry. And okay. site work, no, and, but no, it's also site work around the building on the fire, uh, the back of the building, the fire station end, the fire station front, and, and the balance front at the front park and look. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. And yeah. then and then my only other question is, Ed, can you explain the town hall demo design fees? Because I know that when you got the cost estimate, you had to put some kind of work behind that to issue the RFPs. So we had originally put a proposal together based on it being done concurrent with the base contract work. When they submitted the proposal to actually do the work, they extended it out. A significant number of months past that, so we had to increase our on-site presence for construction administration. And, and we've we've already approved seventy-six five fifty or something like that Correct. for 
the, design. the investigation and the design and the documents, which is part of this one one fifty one. The rest of it is construction administration if it moves forward, because we're going to have yeah, meetings right. and we're going to have inspections. Doing that. So can, should that number be lowered by that seventy six five number? It's, it was our no, it's, how we it's, it's part. It's part of the cost of <clears throat> demoing the town hall. But we don't need the money because we already we already paid for it. it. You're paying for it at the same contingency. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're just gonna if you don't include it here, you're gonna move it up. Okay. Right. Take it out of the contingency. Correct. So keep the one. Great. Thank you. I, I would like to add that the phase two site work really is gonna start, I'm gonna say, in early October. We don't anticipate it being complete until mid November. So just in terms of timeline? It's the key, so. When we're gonna know. That's assuming everything stays on schedule. It doesn't necessarily work with them. It's got to stay October on schedule. They got to pay before Thanksgiving. So, so based on what um, Brian said, we, we have a shot here, right? We're, we're close. This is feasible so far. Yeah. Unless, unless the town hall costs come in a lot, you know, unless we have unanticipated un, uh, additional costs like uh, Steve had mentioned. With this building, we're at 99 and change percent complete, so I would imagine, I would imagine that contingency is probably pretty solid at this point. So it's just the town hall we need to worry about over the next month between now and the town meeting. And Steve, you don't think would have a, a, a much more, um, you know, a stable or a, a probable contingency between now and the town meeting for this, for the town hall building? It's, I mean, it's essentially um, 30 days away and they haven't started the right. demolition because the town's still moving out of the, the town hall. So their their window of, of knowing things is getting getting smaller. I mean, it, the thought is we're doing scar scarifying of, of asphalt. We're doing some full full removal. The thought is we're not going to, we shouldn't encounter anything at that minimal depth. But I'm not going to make any guarantees. No. Based it could be electrical lines. What buried. we found, just. Well, I'm trying to understand. What are, you, are you talking about around the existing town hall and fire station? Yes. Yeah. So yeah. What, are you, what are you exploring? What are you doing there? I, I'm before my time. Well, the, the essentially all of the asphalt is either being removed and replaced or being scarified and, and overlaid. Okay. There's a dumpster pad that's that's down in the in the in the back corner. Yeah. There's some work around the the memorial. We're not really touching it, but we're cleaning it up a little bit. Then as you move to the front of the town hall, that parking lot gets redone. So that's all getting researched. So it does, it does, it basically wraps itself. And then there's a, there's a, a painted crosswalk that runs across the entire thing to basically simulate the, the sidewalk. And if you know where the trailers are now, that's the other part of the front parking lot that needs yeah. to be constructed. And I, and I think there's some redesign to the front because the first architectural drawing had a tree in front of one of the garages of the fire station, but they're going to redesign the whole front of the town hall so they have access into the future fire station. And I don't know what they're doing with the six parking spaces. I know uh, Chris is, think, is trying to move the charging stations that are in the corner, but there's, there's frontal work also. Quick question, where's the contractor going to work when the job trails are gone? Second part of our conversation. Right. The existing town hall? That That's what I think. Demo over them? That's what I think. <laughs> we <laughs> talked about it today, as a matter of fact. It's a possibility. Because we have to go somewhere, too. We'll no, but no, oh, wait. That should have been in this plan from day one. We'll put them yes. in one of Ray's yes. trailers that he won't move. So that's my question. Is, they, is the town hall giving them an office? It should have already been worked in. Because I'll be really angry if I see a change order for something that should have been parked because that that was being demoed from day one. Where were they going to work out of? Well, I mean, if it, it, the means and methods of how they, they run their field office up to them, they could pull those trailers around oh, no, the building I, I agree if they wanted to. So if yeah. they, they haven't asked, I mean, I'm sure they will ask if they can occupy a mechanical room. Yeah, or, exactly. Or the old town hall or, or whatever. Okay. But, I'm sure there's a cell we can put them in. I'm sure there's plenty of room around there. The BPW's in the back. Yeah. Uh, I'm just worried about the my old guy. cables for the communication. I was involved back then. The cables were run from the existing communication building 
down to the new police station. It was brand new. And they ran it down the road. They put it right down along the side of the road mm -hmm. and brought it into the new building. Those cables between the old building and the police station, as far as I know, they're not even being used anymore. I don't think any of that's being used. It was just, that's not what that Ray's going to say, but okay. But that, that wasn't. Now, whether it's connected to the antenna or not, I don't know about that. But for the most part, there shouldn't be because any I, I think there's... Well, there's a gas line that runs down the outside of the the new fire station on the roof of the old town hall and down. That but I'm not into the construction. I'm just a, a bunch of worthless information. <laughs> Whose turn is it to talk? Mine. One last thing, Jim, please. So based on Brian's math here, where it's very close, right? 30,000 different. Right. Um, if for no other reason than discussion points at the town meeting, <laughs> people complaining we spent money, we weren't pretty sure, pretty sure we had enough. I, I'm going to change my opinion about the six tables, unfortunately. I don't know if you can take tables from the old community center and use them temporarily, but, but we're very, very close, and I don't want to spend any more money if for no other reason than political reasons, right? Because it's 31,000 difference at best case scenario. If we spend five and we're short, I don't want to be explaining that $5,000, so. Well, being the elephant in the room, I have a problem with both contracts coming in under a million dollars of what we budgeted. Number one, we saved money when we awarded the contracts. Number two, we got a million point five. So to me, that's 3.5 million, give or take a hundred thousand or something. Plus with all this contingency rigmarole, um, I, I think the funds are somewhere within the town someplace. And like this combining what's left over from these, my problem is how many other pots of gold and, and Mr. Hornsby touched on it. How many other pots of gold from uncompleted projects are sitting around in town? Does the water, well, the water department has their own budget and we don't want to go there, but, you know, from the old high schools, is there money that's left over from, I don't know, whatever other projects were in town, but, you know, I was very <coughs> surprised to find out that that money just sits there unused like the athletic field money. How many other pots of gold, as I call them, regardless of how big or small are they, sitting around town? Beth and then you. Well, speaking of pots of gold, I think it was at a, um, one of our previous town meetings where we voted that 37000 would come from the old town hall paving to this one. Do we know if that money ever got officially transferred? From the, it was earmarked for paving. Did we get that? I don't know. Was that for the library? No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no because you mean old, old senior center. Yes. The old yes. Senior oh, you said old town hall. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh. I know what you meant. I okay. knew what you meant. <laughs> yes, there was. Yeah, there was. Uh, it was like 37. 36, 37. Because you were going to repave it. We were going to repave it, and yeah. then we. That's what allowed us to build the parking lot well, out in full here. You know, if you take this simple and you change yeah, the contingency to 15 that in the budget. it works. It's just a roll of the dice. I think the other thing, be 40. Who knows? the other thing I'd like to add to this is to be sitting yeah. here this late in a construction project with this much money left. I know, that's what I'm trying to tell is, everybody. It's an absolute good accomplishment by this exactly. committee. But we're being criticized of the stuff. Well, that's like why this. you have to start out. Yeah. If you change this contingency to 15, this contingency to 15, you got 40,000 plus. You had the 50 from the generator, it buys the furniture and we're all happy. Well, that's it. But, can we just but that 15 is a risk. I, I think, think, I think we can work to, to get the, the tables, in an regardless of, yeah. of the, the concerns. Yeah. I, think, I don't think the tables are No, they're not going to kill the project with peanuts. But again, 30,000 in the hole is nothing. Well, I think you also have to keep in mind that we had a million five. On top of that. Yeah, on top of yeah, that. Exactly. Probably yeah. should have been left out there for the time being. That's what I've been saying. Yeah, and then exactly. when the project's done, yeah, then, you, then, you, then you reduce the debt. Correct. You don't reduce it before the project's completed. Correct. Well, right. technically, that million five 
was supposed to be used in the building. for constructing of the senior center. Right. Hence right. the name out front. Right. So the explanation I got was the million five went into the bonding issue, which was for the senior center and the other two things. But correct. So it reduced the cost of lending of the senior center. And I understand that, but we went to town meeting and asked for. Thirty million dollars. I understand that. We didn't that. tell you, by the way, if somebody comes along and is going to give the town a million and a half, you can reduce the debt. That should have stayed there until the project was done. That was actually then an turn it all back. Do you know officially if they put it towards the bond? That was an article. I have no idea. I'll find out. I'll find out. I am not. There is too Thursday. much. There is too much money floating around this room right now. We got fifty thousand for the generator. We got a million five from the Nelsons. We've got contingency funds. We've got unused contract. I mean, it's it's if just that go to the as I said, there's fine. clouds all out there that nobody really knows except the bean counters and uh, what kind of answer we get from them. I don't know. So, so Steve, as far as the uh, school remaining uh, field uh, balance there, I don't know if we got to formally request what that amount is. Maybe you can ask Mike to send it. A message to uh, you know the super yeah I think we've talked I've talked about it with Nick too on the school committee yeah so. and I think James gave out that number he gave me the number two months ago and he's the town treasurer so he would know that number well we got to make sure they lock it in that they don't spend any amount right. down I guess is my point so beyond beyond my pay grade to tell him to lock so it in but it's, it's Mike's pay grade that's why I'm asking Steve to pay got you again get it all night. Can we uh, at least move forward? I mean, Steve said that he could take care of the tables. We've got enough care, the funding to take care of the tables. Mm -hmm. right and, let's, <laughs> and let's move forward yeah. Make and see what's left at the end. Right. And at the end, we can decide how do we... Well, my position here was to follow the agenda. We were still discussing demolition and whatever. The next item on the agenda, which I have in front of me, which is a personal piece okay. of paper, right. would be the furniture, Bob. I'm not okay. Okay. ignoring okay. you. No, okay. Okay. I understand That's your right. concern, but okay. we've got to move topic to topic <laughs> and not try to be bouncing around. No, okay. We just need a freight and installation estimate on that for that. If you can come up with a kind of ballpark. So Depends if you vote on, we'll have to go back to W.B. Mason and find out what the final number is. Well, we can vote just on six and round it up a little bit. Well, just take the percentage. Yeah, I don't know, what, I don't know what it is. Take the percentage. Okay, now you people all just shifted the whole discussion to furniture again. And we were discussing demolition. Are we done with the whole demolition? Yeah. Yes. Rigmarole, bean counting, or whatever? My, my opinion what? is find out what the state shares or the table's worth. Subtract that. Brian, I just said. Oh, wait a minute, let me finish. <laughs> Subtract that from this whole mathematical monster here, and then adjust the contingency to get see where we're at. I don't. I think twenty is a little high. That's just my opinion, but maybe I'm wrong. I think fifteen is probably fine. It's, that's just me. But you never know. We can put forty for all I care. You're never gonna know. <laughs> and in essence, uh, we haven't should, we haven't used all the contingency on the other two buildings. So Which we probably won't be using the 20% anyway. Correct. So the 31 should be there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But you have, to your point, we have to prove it to people, break it down for right. them. You just have to add to this the other, the other credits we're getting back. I'm not and the other ads for the, for the table. Freight is quoted on this for each item except for those tables. <laughs> <laughs> no, of course it is. <laughs> so maybe there's no Okay, problem. are we done discussing the demo? Yes. Yes. Okay, an outstanding topic is the added furniture, and let me get to where I'm supposed to be here, which is home. Back here somewhere. Turn about getting 50 more chairs and at least the six tables and the credenza. Um, I don't know where to, we're just discussing it. I've given my thoughts that I think we should get seven tables and delete the condensa. Bob Kimball has suggested Beth go to the town hall 
and Old Town Hall and see if there's a credenza there. Um, I've suggested that we make the Friends of the Senior Center make pay for it, but those are all informational things on the table. Who or what wants to make a motion? Why are we asking for seven tables? Six. What the the extra measure. table to take the place of the the computer is now on a table. If the tables are going for seven for seven hundred dollars, if you divide six into forty six, comes out to seven fifty or something. Seven seven. Why seven. not get another table and you replace the old heavy table that's out there with a table with wheels on? I'm saying you could hide the computer someplace else. You're going to disconnect it anyway. Put it in a locked office or someplace. You don't have to have a condenser for it. Ruth. Those tables are not going to work right. for what we need it for. Something yeah, else six, might? Six, something six, else six, might, that, but that particular table would not. But that's so what Bob is time. saying. Go to the town yeah. hall and find something that works but first. I, but I, first. Before but, we buy any more, but we can buy the six. But, yeah, but that, that, I think, that would make me happy. But I think we have to settle this tonight. And just said, we're not all said. going to run up to the old town hall tonight and pick out a credenza. Tomorrow. We have to make a decision tonight. <coughs> yes. If she is. finds one between tonight and God knows when, Tomorrow she morning. can cancel the credenza. But, you know. She needs the 50 chairs, she needs the yeah, six tables, and she needs the credenza. Is that the only stuff you absolutely need? Right, and it would be nice to have the two additional benches, but those are... What's the fundraising? Later. Later. Which is high. I thought... Unless it's part of the original... One person at a time. I, Ruth. I thought no when we originally yeah. talked about this Probably building, this. four benches yeah. were included. What's the table? And that was my original thought, that four benches were originally... So I, I believe the question on the table is, benches. aren't those two benches paid for already? No. No, they weren't, they weren't in part of they the They weren't contract. in the original They're the ones that go outside. So they weren't, they were in, but they weren't paid for. No. no. They, no. they weren't ordered. They were not included in the, okay, in the general we had contractors. The two out front and the one inside. Right. Okay, thank you. Okay, I didn't know who else was in on this free for all, so I'm still waiting for a motion. Yes. Okay. So can you just the six tables mm -hmm. for now? I think I think if we can get the six tables for now, then we can work around because the chairs are on the dollies. We can work on moving them, right. but ideally, we would like. To keep, yeah, 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 ideally, we, eventually we can get that. Yeah, but if we can get the tables so, ASAP, so close on the budget. Yeah, I understand. I, I think so if we, we just get the six tables get the plus six tables, insulation that free. Would be yes. So just do a not Okay. Any other discussion Let's go. on the motion? I don't have. Is I'll there a motion that. somewhere? I'll make, I'll make a motion to um, approve the uh, COE's request for six additional tables. In the amount of forty six sixty two ninety plus whatever freight installation uh, costs are attributed. Second. Second. Second by Bob. You got that. Ace. I got it. <laughs> okay. Any more discussion? What? It's about oh, sorry. I have to ask if there's any discussion, Brian. Yeah. We have a motion. Go ahead. No discussion. All those in favor, please raise your hand. Aye. All those opposed. So moved. Okay, when's our next meeting? When's town meeting? Well, 21st. 22nd. 21st, you're right. 7 p.m. at the high school where Article 13 so we should be off. Just one more thing. Um, there's three years with this day. When, when, they, when you guys decide to auction off yeah, all this stuff in that town hall, after everybody else, I know Tom and are already working on offering it to everybody else. You've already said that. Yeah. Well, whatever's left, if that money could be put into a contingency account separate, so that if she needs 50 chairs in the future, and I'm sure she'll get them, but if she doesn't get them, put that money into a contingency where you can go back to these two new buildings and maybe get some more stuff that might be needed later on, instead of just throwing it back into the general fund. Right? I love have that it, idea. And have it disappear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, I, I would love to do that if, if, if we're able to do that legally. I, I think we I'm all for that, yeah. 
It would probably yeah, be instead of a revolving stuff. account. Okay, and Bob still has the floor. <laughs> Sorry. The other thing is, uh, I don't know what you have for flagpoles. I think you got three in front of the town hall and two here. One. Right. One. But I have, I do have uh, Massachusetts three by five flags. Oh, well, nice. I do have a couple of American flags if you want. Them. And I spoke to the historical society today. We have the new Norton flag, oh, nice. uh, which comes to three by five and four by six. So whatever you guys need, we're going to uh, take care of that. Probably. I would suggest that you give those to Chris, the Chris, uh, help. What oh, else? Chris, okay. He's the, yeah, I know. I like Chris. he's the subcontracted janitor of the town hall okay. at this building, Facilities. and he can use it. I, have a, I understand that Estelle has also donated an American flag, mm -hmm. and I have contacted uh, Senator Markey's office about a flag, but if we're, everybody's out getting flags, then... Uh, well, I already have them. So right. If you don't need them, that's so fine, but I already I would, have them. I would filter them. that all through Chris. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't Chris think that's up to this committee. Right here, Kevin, you wanted to say something? Um, no, I, 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 Okay, I, I, good. I was just Anybody else? Concerned. Do we need to meet before uh, town hall? That was going to be my question. I... Yes. Why would we have to meet? Just ask him. I think we should. Yeah. Just have all the numbers. Hopefully tightened up by that. So that puts everybody on notice to have the numbers? Yes. Works for me. Yes. So the 14th. Monday before the 21st would 14th. be? No, how about the, the, the 21st at 6 o'clock? 17th? 14th. 16th. What time 14th. Time because the, the 21st is the Monday before the 21st. Oh, okay. Yeah. So how many is 21st would be the Monday before would be the 14th? Yeah. Right. So That's Columbus Day. Columbus Day. Columbus Day. Columbus Day. Columbus Day. I, won't, I won't be here anyways. <laughs> We can meet on the night of the town meeting at six o'clock at the high school. Well, we really time. I, you can I don't like this. those kind of meetings. Well, do you want to, well, well last make it minute. 5.30 or something, a little earlier. How about Tuesday the 15th? What's wrong with Tuesday the 15th? That's fine with me. Anybody opposed to Tuesday the 15th? No. Uh, I don't think I'll be back. Same bad time, same bad time. are you back? Here. I think I'm so. actually back, but I, I know the town. I don't know if we can meet. I have oh, another committee meeting. Wednesday. Come here. Are you going that whole week? He's looking. No. Just Tuesday. He's looking. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Okay.
Just another three billable hours. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, well, now we need 30. Yeah, now we have 38,000. Thanks yeah. a lot. You killed us. The rates for town meeting school. attendance goes way up. Yeah, I'm going to make it a motion to adjourn. Did I see a second? Okay. Okay. All, those opposed? All those opposed? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Okay, thank you very much.